Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to part 10 of our Crash Course RPG League. So there was a delay in making this part 10 because the performer was down. Uh, even now it is actually not available. So, but I'm going to make this video on my another uh, server, which is the texas400.com, uh, which I have paid sometimes before and the account is still active. Anyway, so this is going to be our part 10 and we're going to look into some of the built-in functions of RPG League. So basically, uh, built-in functions are something uh, ready-madely available in generally in any programming languages, and uh, we can just make use of it to do our job easy. Okay, so like that, um, even uh, in RPGLE, we have a list of built-in functions. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the individual built-in functions one by one, and then do give some example. Okay, so instead of that, I'm going to give this link in the description. Okay, so this link, if you go right, you will be able to see. <clears throat> you will be able to see the list of all built-in functions which are available in RPG League. Okay, so you can click on e uh, each link to get an example. Okay, so I would recommend uh, you to go into uh, one by one and then you can maybe copy the program and then try modifying it, playing around to understand more about that. But in this video, I'm gonna just take few uh, important or most used built-in functions and then give some background about it so that uh, uh, you guys uh, can get an idea of uh, th these kind of built-in functions are available and then you can make use of it when you need it. Okay, so let's go uh, one by one, uh, maybe here, right? Um, so this is actually uh, ABS, right? Which is absolute uh, function. If you have a neg negative number, if you want to convert them into, into a positive number, you can use ABS. And reminder, we already saw it's good to get the remainder of uh, division and the character. So if you want to convert anything uh, to a character, we can use uh, personage character but this personage character which also takes uh, the second parameter okay uh, when i say second parameter normally if i give here like a variable this variable will be converted into a character but it can also take a second parameter uh, something here okay provided if this variable is actually a date or time or timestamp then we can give uh, a format okay so based on this format the value will be converted so I have explained about this thing in detail in a separate video called uh, how to handle date functions in RPG uh, Actually in that video, uh, I have covered almost this much of built-in functions in that video, okay? So I'll give link uh, in the description below for that video as well. I recommend you to watch that. Okay, so let's see a uh, few other important things. So there are something called check and check car, okay? So check car means check reverse. So this will be useful if you want to check uh, one particular uh, a list of characters okay uh, which is available in a particular text or not actually it, we are not checking for the availability uh, but we are checking uh, on the reverse way what i mean is actually say for example i have a, a text called uh, uh, text one two three okay assume this is there in a variable okay and i want to check uh, this variable against maybe uh, the thing called one two okay uh, here what it will do, it will take individual uh, character from this string and it will try to compare uh, the whole uh, variable. And wherever it finds the first mismatch, it will give you that number. For example, in this case, uh, if you put a function, okay, maybe for example, it is like a percentage check. Uh, I'm going to check uh, this one, two, uh, okay, uh, in text one, two, three. Okay, so if you have these two things in a variable, you will replace here with the variable name. Okay, so this will return actually one. Okay, why it's returning one? Because in this text, right, which is in this variable, okay, t is the first non matching character of one, two. Okay, if suppose I have maybe one, two here, or even okay, two here, okay, it checks that uh, each character by character and then finds that this 2 is available in this string so it will leave and then it will see this t is not available here so it will return the value as 2 okay so it will give you the first non matching character of whatever we have it here so you can think me uh, you can think like where it will be useful uh, for that i'll be doing uh, going to do an exercise problem at the end of the video so you'll see how it is useful for and check reverse is actually for the reversing order say for example instead of check if i put a check r here what will happen it will check from the right hand side for the non-matching character. So in this case, three is actually the character which is not available here. So it will return the value, um, the index of the value, which means one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it will return the value uh, eight because eight is the index of that uh, string, which 
we have the non matching uh, character okay so we have other uh, functions like dc dch and dc post okay so dc is actually when you want to convert a uh, 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 character into a decimal we can use dc and dch is actually when you want to convert uh, also in a rounding uh, you know do, do some rounding so we can use dch and dc post is actually nothing but uh, decimal position okay so if you have a, a number called variable equal to 123.456 okay if you pass this value into a dc pos we will get the value 345 okay because 345 is a decimal position so character we already seen here okay there are okay scan scanner so you can think like right so here in this check right we are checking uh, individual characters against the variable okay but what if if you want to match exactly one to okay available or not for that we can use scan okay in the scan function it will take two arguments the first argument is the value which you want to scan and the second actually the, uh, the string in which we are searching and wherever it finds the exact match it will give you the uh, portion number so which means if i have like i'm searching the string over over okay in uh, maybe a string called leave over dle okay it will see this over is appearing in this portion so it will give you the index 2 okay it will give you the index 2 because uh, it will give the first uh, over index okay anyway so scanner is similar it's a reverse uh, scanning so it will reverse from right to left and scan rpl so scan rpl is actually a combination of scan and replace so you can give like uh, you scan for this value if you find you can replace with this value kind of stuff and we have a separate replace function okay which will replace the text uh, in a particular position okay and then we have a sub array which we always have seen in the arrays uh, tutorial it will give you the subset of your array and then we have a subset function so this subset or substring okay not subset substring so th this will be very much useful in many cases so it will it, it will be used to extract uh, a character from the character we can extract some portion of the uh, string as another variable okay and then finally we have a xlate function so xlate is used for translation okay so for example here i say abc you translate with xy z on variable uh, a b d say for example so what we are telling here uh, it is not that wherever we match a b c we need to replace with x y z okay it is not like that so it is like a should be replaced with x b should be replaced with y and c should be replaced with z which means these first two parameters always should have the same length okay because we are giving uh, from and two values on on the first two parameters and then it will apply this rule on the third parameter uh, which is the string which we want to apply the uh, translation okay so here what will happen this first a will be converted to x and second b will be converted to y but b it won't convert because there is no uh, match so it will put d x y d is a uh, value after this execution of this particular uh, building function okay with this example so uh, it will be very useful uh, in some cases we have a whole string and uh, we want to replace all the asterisks with some spaces okay uh, or we want to replace like uh, something some numbers into some particular character uh, in those cases it will be very useful and it is also most used to like uh, converting a string from uppercase to lowercase or lowercase to uppercase so remember like uh, so here i have abc right say for example i give the replacement string as abc so what will happen wherever it finds a small a in this uh, target uh, variable it will convert that to a capital a okay so like that it will be used and finally we have some trim trim or trim all so it will be used for if you want to truncate some white spaces at the uh, on both the end then you'll use trim only on the right hand side we'll use trim or only if you want to you know, remove the blank space from the left hand side then we'll use trim all okay so these are some of the most used uh, commonly used built functions and as i said already these fun this list of date functions are already covered in a separate uh, video i'll give the link in the description below now let's do some exercise uh, let me open this thing okay so for this tutorial right um, uh, or this section of the tutorial so i have come up with two programs practice programs so first i'll directly show the output and then see what we are going to do so first is the guess okay the program name is guess it's called qcmd call guess so when you call this program right it says okay i'm thinking a number between 1 to 50 okay so guess the number so i'm going to randomly say something like 25 and then it says uh, you guess it's too low uh, which means uh, the number is greater than 25 so i can see something like 35 again 35 is too low so i can say maybe 45 45 is also low maybe what is that 47 too low 48 too low 49 
Wow. Okay, great. So we have got the number in six cases. So this is the objective of this particular problem. Okay, so uh, first of all, we need to find a random number between one to fifty, and then assign it to a variable, and then we'll uh, keep on asking the user to uh, guess the number. And whenever they are guessing the number, uh, we have to check against our number which we have guessed. And if the user's guess is uh, low, then we should say uh, your number is too low. Uh, if it is big, then we'll say too high, kind of stuff. And if it is matches, we'll print how many times they took for guessing the number. Okay. So let's quickly see the program. What I have done. Uh, this is the program, right? So let's go into it. So first, few things. Uh, here we have used some built-in functions. Okay. So that is the uh, idea of explaining this program. So first, uh, to understand this program, I want to edit it and then do something. Okay. Uh, here we have the timestamp uh, built-in function, which will normally give you the timestamp. Okay, uh, but here you can see there is a second parameter. I have embedded the timestamp into the character function. So as I said earlier in this video, it takes a second parameter which we can give the format. So ISO zero means it will remove all the uh, the or the separators those stuffs. Okay, so let's see if we want to display, then you'll see how it looks like. Okay, after uh, I uh, like get the time. Okay, so basically the idea is how how I am I am finding a random number always. Okay, that's what I'm explaining here. So I'm getting the random number from the timestamp. Okay, so we all know that timestamp will be unique always whenever we like uh, executing the program uh, again and again. Uh, at the time, whatever the time, we'll, we'll get the value. And then from that time, I'm going to uh, do a, a remainder of uh, with fifty. I mean modulo of fifty, so that I'll get a number between zero to forty-nine. So here you can see um, uh, I'm expecting only the first seventeen characters. Okay, I'll expect because this ts underscore c is nothing but a twenty-six character length, which is a bigger one. So from that, I'm just expecting only the seventeen because uh, you'll know why. Because I'm going to display this also. Display ts underscore n. Let's see what is that value. Okay, and then here is the thing. So from that number. TS underscore number. Okay, I'm dividing it with 50, and whatever comes as the remainder, I'm adding plus one. This is because this will give either value from zero to 49. Okay, but we want we are guessing from one to 50, so I'll I always add plus one. Okay, and then the number is guessed. Maybe I also put display the number here, so we'll guess easily. <laughs> okay, fine. So after that, what I'm doing? I'm just displaying this thing called I'm guessing a number like that, and then here you see I have a do while. In do while loop, I put one equal to one, okay, because I'm going to run the loop forever, okay, uh, and I'm I will exit the loop only if uh, the user is matching the number, okay. So I'll put do while one equal to one. So the one equal to one is always true, so the loop will keep on running. And inside the loop, like I'm first uh, asking the number, and that's usually a small uh, if else statement, right? The so number is less than the guess, then display something, and then increase the count to one, so that uh, you'll know how much. Uh, occurrence the user is taking to guess the number. So if the less than and then greater than, uh, if not these two, then it's actually the exact value. And you can see we are just displaying the stuff and then I'm just giving a leave statement. Okay. So this is pretty much the program. And let's run again and see what happens. All guess. So you can see first it displays the whole thing. So this is the whole uh, character we got. When we convert the timestamp into star ISO zero, okay, there is no separation hyphen colon those steps, okay. But you can see always the after the milliseconds there is a microseconds which always zero zero zero, okay. That's why when I try to divide that with fifty, okay, uh, I always get a zero because of the zero zero zero, okay. So that's why I take the number only until the uh, first seventeen uh, digits. That, that's why the second variable is all about. And when I divide that number with fifty, so I get some uh, random uh, value here, forty-seven. So now we need to guess. So say for example, I am directly guessing the first number, maybe the first try. Okay, if you see, it says uh, you found the number in one guesses. So that's some kind of uh, uh, practice problem. But we have used, we have learned some built-in functions. Okay, okay. So the next is actually an even more interesting um, problem. Okay, so get number. So before I explain this, let me call this program call. Get number. So it says uh, enter enter number and character. Okay, so the objective of this number is something like okay, I'm going to enter a text like A B C one two three uh, comma five uh, and uh, zero. Okay, if I'm entering this as a string, give enter, then what I get is actually only the number portion. Okay, I get only one two three five and zero. I'm removing all the 
uh, non numeric questions okay this is a task so if you have a, a, a variable which contains a string okay that also contains some numbers how do we extract only the number okay uh, typically the use case will be something like okay when you get uh, a data from any other source it will be like uh, 1 comma 2 3 uh, comma something like this okay as a string but you want to extract only the number say for example so how do you do that so that's kind of thing uh, let's go see the program what i have done so basically uh, here first i'm getting the value in the variable called num character pretty straight forward and then i'm just running a loop from 1 to the length of that particular character and then i'm extracting one by one uh, character okay because i am checking like uh, if for example assume i am giving the input let me go to the so i am say for example i am giving the abc 1 2 3 comma 5 uh, and 0 okay this is my input okay i am checking each and every character in this particular thing is a numeric or not basically so for that i am using the check function okay how because okay here you can see using substring built in function i can extract from this particular variable from ith position to one character which means the, this for loop will run from 1 2 3 up to the uh, length of the string which means on each iteration the i will be increasing by 1 by 1 1 okay the on the first thing i want the a and then b and then c like that okay so here the i will be replaced with 1 2 3 and then i'm getting the substring function of that particular character and storing into temp variable and then i'm checking whether is there any digits on the temp variable okay so what is this digits the digits is nothing but another variable which i have uh, declared here and hard coded with all the number of digits which i want to uh, include from 0 to 9 okay so it will check this digits against this temp which is the one character field and then it will give me the position okay we know, we just learned that right the check will return me the non matching value okay which means uh, let me comment uh, on comment this so you will see what very value we are getting in position uh, whenever it checks against the digits okay and um, okay i'm doing if position is equal to zero then i'm just adding into the result field so result is nothing but another uh, character and i put here varying because uh, we don't need to do a trim okay we can just keep adding it will automatically ignore the training spaces so that is the program so let's see what happened this time so call get number Okay, I'm going to input the same program uh, A B C one two three comma five and zero. So you can see what happens the, whenever it founds uh, a non-numeric. Okay, it gives me the one Be because we we just learned that the check function will check for the non-matching character and it will give you the portion of that. Okay, so that's why we get one. And whenever it doesn't find any non-matching, then it will give me zero. So that's why in the program there is a if statement like. If the position equal to zero, then keep adding the result into a result variable. So we'll get one, two, three, five, zero. Okay, so that's it for this video. So I hope you got some understanding uh, about the built-in functions. So I will recommend you to go to this particular uh, page of the IBM website and then go through one by one, and uh, you can come up with your own uh, problems problems with this built-in function and try exploring stuffs. Okay, so that you get used to it. Okay, so I hope this helps. And as I said earlier, I'll give the link in the description for the other uh, videos also, and then hope that helps. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's it for this. I'll see you in the next video with uh, part eleven of our video. So thanks for watching.